Welcome back to Booze and Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and today we're going to put a twist on the classic lemon drop. Let's get into it. All right, it's great to have every single one of you back here today. We are making a raspberry lemon drop martini. Now, the original lemon drop martini was invented in the 1970s at a time of concentrated juices and bottled juices. However, in the 80s, the idea of cocktails began to change with such notables as Dick Bradsell and Dale DeGroff, and they did that by adding fresh fruit to their cocktails. So what we're going to do is take that original lemon drop, add fresh fruit, and come up with one of the best variations of a raspberry lemon drop that I've ever tried. So let's get into this. The first thing you need is your glass, and I'm so used to doing it that way that I'm going to put this off to the side, because what you really need is a plate of some sugar and a first your lemon. Grab your knife and chop your lemon in half. And trust me, this is important that we're going to do this. Grab your martini glass. Now, it doesn't have to be martini glass. It could be whatever you want. It could be a mason glass for all you care. So take your lemon and gently rub it on the outside of the room, not the inside, the outside. And then roll your glass slowly so we get a really nice sugar rim. Look at that. Now put that off to the side, your glass is ready. Put these over here for later because you'll need them, I guarantee it. Move this, grab your glass. And now you can grab six raspberries. Now that you've done that, grab your muddle and just gently press down and muddle. And the reason I say gently is because the ice will continue to do the rest of the work while we shake this. Now you're gonna use your vodka of choice. In this case, I'm using Tito's vodka. A lot of the vodkas that you'll see in many of the recipes are a citrus vodka. But I don't wanna do that. What I want is the actual fresh fruit to speak for themselves. And we need two ounces or 60 milliliters. Yes. Now the next thing that we'll use is some triple sec. These will give us the orange hints that we want of an orange liqueur, but it'll also bump that sweetness just a little bit. And we're going to use three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half milliliters. <laughs> Try and get the lid back on. Next, you want some simple syrup. And it seems counterintuitive that we're adding simple syrup to something that we've sugared the rim on, but trust me, it'll work out and it'll balance, I promise. And you need half an ounce or 15 milliliters. Now we're gonna go back to this lemon and what we'll do is we are going to squeeze an ounce and a half. <laughs> an ounce and a half works out too, 45 milliliters. Very nice. Put this over here because we don't need that now. Next, you're gonna add some ice. And we're going to shake this for a good 10 to 15 seconds. And we want to shake it good and hard because we're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to break up the raspberry a little bit. And this will spread the color and bring out that tartness and sweetness of the raspberry all at once. And shake it with a smile. All right. Pop that open with the strength of a thousand raspberries. Not that you need a thousand raspberries for this. And what you're going to do is you're going to come back grab your glass of choice and we're going to fine strain this in here because we want to keep out the little chunks of raspberry look at that perfect take one raspberry what we'll do is we'll just give it a little bit of a cut on the edge here we will slide that on like so. And there we have, you know what? Don't put that on there, it doesn't look right. We have a raspberry lemon drop martini. Well, it smells really good. You immediately get those hints of raspberry, which you think would be held down by the lemon juice. <clears throat> oh, that is so good. <clears throat> it's tart and sweet at the same time. You get the lemon, 
you get the hints of raspberry and it blends together really, really well with that sugar rim. It just draws it all together. Oh. <clears throat> oh yes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the ingredients and the method of how to make this down in the description down below. If you think I should use a different type of vodka, a different orange liqueur, or even different types of fruits to change this up, please leave a comment down below. And if it's your first time to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time I put up a new video, you will be notified. And if you'd like to help support the channel, please check us out at patreon.com forward slash booze on the rocks because every little bit helps us to bring these videos to you. You have a great afternoon. Changed a little bit here or there. And if you wait, go to the yeah, yeah, end of the video. So, so you're gonna grab your shaking glass and then you're gonna throw in about six strawberries.